Hi kids and welcome back to Virtual Sunday School. I hope you guys are doing fabulous. Now last week we celebrated the amazing gift of Easter and Jesus' resurrection. We continue the story this week to learn what happened next for Jesus and for the disciples. I'd like you to think about a time when you've had to say goodbye to someone. Try to remember who that person was, what happened for you to have to say goodbye. Did they move away? Did they pass away? But think about how you tried to stay connected with that person. If they moved away, did you write letters to them? Did you call them on the phone? Did you send pictures or FaceTime? I'd like you to think about that as we listen to today's story. So our lesson today comes from the book of Acts, chapter one, verses one through 11. It's titled, Jesus's Ascension. Now ascension means the act of rising up into maybe a higher level or a higher position. For 40 days after Jesus was raised from the dead, he met with his disciples. He said to them, don't leave Jerusalem yet. God will give you the Holy Spirit. John baptized you with water, but God will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give you power. Then you will tell everyone about me here at home in the nearby towns and villages, even in faraway countries. You will share the good news with all people everywhere. Just then, Jesus was taken up into a cloud. The disciples could not see him anymore, but they kept looking up at the sky. Where had Jesus gone? What would happen now? Suddenly, two men in white clothes appeared. They said, why do you look up into the sky? Jesus went to heaven, but we'll come back again. The apostles went back to Jerusalem. They prayed together as they waited for the coming of the Holy Spirit. So I want you to do a little activity with me. This should be kind of fun. I want you to stand up and then I want you to look up at the sky. Now, while you're looking up at the sky, I want you to try to do things like maybe walk around, maybe try to jump, maybe try to build something with blocks, or maybe try to, you know, um, stand on one foot. Anything looking up. And so try as many activities as you can just looking up. And notice how hard is it to do some of these things while you're staring up at the sky? So why do you think the messengers told the apostles, stop staring at the sky. Jesus will come back in the Holy Spirit. Now of the things that Jesus asked the apostles to do, go into the communities and villages, tell other people about God tell other people about me. Do you think they could have done that just by staring up? No. Jesus knew that the Holy Spirit would be with them. He was confident in their power, in their um, strength, and their understanding that they would go out and spread the good news. Now, just like your friend or family or loved one that left you and you had to say goodbye. Jesus left the apostles and they wondered at first, what would happen now? But Jesus reminded them that he may not be with them in person, but he would be with them in spirit. And they could always know that he is with them every step of the way. And so think about how you stay connected 
with your friend or loved one that moved away. And think about how we can stay connected with God. We can come to church. We can learn more about his word. We can share the good news with others. We can pray. We can always talk to God. We can invite friends to church to come with us. There's so many different ways we can stay connected. And just as Jesus reminded the disciples of that, he also wants us to remember that as well. Let's pray. God, teach us to pray. Help us to recognize the power of your Holy Spirit. Like Jesus prepared the disciples, prepare us to share the good news of your love with others. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. See you next week.